A thing that people don't talk about often, and something that I don't feel particularly qualified to talk about in any detail at least, is the um, the interesting phenomenon of drugs, medication, affecting neurodivergent people differently. It's something that I think there is an increasing amount of research into, and it's something that doctors <laughs> certainly ought to be more and more aware of. Um, but it's fascinating stuff if you look into it. Um, the fact that autistic people might react very differently to psychotropic medication, you know, antidepressants, anti-anxiety medicine, um, but also, you know, might react differently to recreational drugs, you know, caffeine, alcohol. I mean, that, that's the limit of my experience, but I would imagine it spreads onto everything, to be honest. And when you when you give it any thought, it kind of makes sense, and it's it's sort of silly that, that it wasn't considered beforehand, I guess, because, um, you know, if you're neurodivergent, your brain architecture is different, so it would make sense that anything that affects the architecture of the brain and affects the way that the brain works is going to be very different in a different type of brain. You know, that, that, that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, but it's, it's something that's really, really worth bearing in mind when you, you know, if you are neurodivergent and you go to the doctors and they put you on medication, it's worth having that conversation. Well, you know, do we know anything about how this affects autistic people? Do we know anything about how this specifically affects uh, people who are ADHD or dyspraxic or dyslexic or, um, or whatever other neurodivergence might be relevant to you?